Hey YouTube, Colorado Hunter Hiker here. This is week eight of essential gear and tips for backcountry hunting, hiking, and backpacking. Well, we've talked about all kinds of things, but uh, if you're going to head out into the wilderness, I'd suggest you take a sh shelter with you. So here are the shelters I take frequently with me. And as you can see, we have a pretty wide array here. We have a bivy from REI, Minimalist Bivy. You could essentially take this, which is about packed down is about half that size. Take that in a rain jacket and head off into your ultra lightweight backcountry adventure. Probably not going to be the most comfortable, but uh, definitely doable. Probably not going to withstand the highest of weather and uh, bad things like that, but certainly doable. Um, I can say that I have taken just the bivy and um, a sleeping bag and a sleeping pad and a rain jacket and I've had a good time. Granted, I had really nice weather, so that had most of the impact. <laughs> um, next to it is a good combo here. You have the Paratarp from Kafaru with the Minimalist Bivy. Um, the downside to the Bivy is you're going to get condensation in it, so make sure you take a synthetic bag or um, just be ready for a little bit of uh, condensation inside. But if you take a Bivy and that tarp, um, you know, obviously now you don't have to be completely zipped up. You can keep it, uh, keep your bivy open a little more um, and still be protected. Obviously, you could also just take the Kafaru Paratarp. Um, you know, just a little bit of Tyvek and a sleeping pad and a sleeping bag and you're going to be pretty comfortable. Um, I, I haven't uh, gotten a chance to do that yet because I have a down bag. So I'm getting a synthetic bag, so I'll be able to report back to you on how that works out. Um, Next to the Kvaru Paratarp is actually the cheapest shelter I have here. Um, it is a Eureka Solitaire. It is a one-man bivy tent. A um, little bit more room than the bivy. It has two hoops. They're 80 bucks. Um, honestly, pretty cheap gear, but I've used the heck out of this thing. Um, I backpacked from Estes to uh, Grand Lake, and I used it, and it was great. Um, again, condensation issues, but... If you're in somewhere where it's nice weather, <clears throat> just leave the rain fly off and you have a pretty nice shelter. So if you're looking for something that's not quite the price of some of these other tents, um, but you want to get out there, don't let a expensive tent be the reason you don't get out there. Um, again, 80 bucks for that Eureka um, Solitaire. It's a great tent um, for what it is. Next to that is stepping up quite a bit in price is the uh, Super Scout UL2 right here from Big Agnes, um, Colorado company out of Steamboat Springs. Great company. Um, all kinds of ultralight shelters, one man, two man, three man, four man. Um, again, on the ultralight side, so you're looking things that you know probably aren't going to withstand high winds and uh, torrential downpours, but uh, or snow. <laughs> But, you know, that three-season tent that's uh, going to be pretty good for backpacking and hiking. Um, if you're going to take it into the high country hunting, just be aware that it's uh, it's not going to withstand, you know, like what a Hilleberg would or, you know, a sheep tarp or a paratarp or a mega tarp, something like that. Um, seek, uh, seek outside, things like that. So, again, just take the shelter that's going to work best for you. Uh, moving on, here's an REI. Uh, Taj 3. Um, I've backpacked that into the, the middle of nowhere um, on a, when I had two guys that were going to stay in there. Um, yeah, it's a lot bigger, but uh, it had plenty of room and we were pretty comfortable. So a good backcountry base camp uh, tent, kind of in the middle of the road. Uh, I'm not going to withstand the highest of things, but uh, it got the job done. Um, next to that is Probably your cheapest four-man tent you're gonna find is this Coleman. They make all kinds of different sub-models, but it's a Coleman four-man tent. Um, I just looked on Amazon, it's 49 bucks. So, you know, four-man, no, it's probably not gonna fit four guys and all your gear, but I've had two guys and, and all our gear in there. Um, a great base camp, throw it up. If you're not gonna hike in until the morning, you don't wanna sleep in the truck, great, great tent for that. Um, my buddy and I have done that a couple of times, and it's just a simple dome tent, um, but it works great. So next to that 
Again, I apologize, I'm not a photographer by trade, so um, bear with me. <laughs> Next to that, we're going to uh, talk about this um, Coleman Weathermaster Screen Six Man Cabin Tent. And this is what I take the family out in. Um, we, it'll fit two queen size beds right next to each other inside. Has a screened in porch for the dogs. It's a great tent. Uh, more expensive than a four man tent, but the room is worth it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of Coleman. It is what it is. They're not um, super heavy duty tents. These are not gonna withstand snow, um, heavy rain. Um, I've, we've had some good wind and it been, it's been fine, but you know, it's not going to withstand torrential downpours and, and super, super rainy and, and uh, more winter weather. So, but a great family tent, you know, campsite, things like that. Next to that um, <laughs> is, I have it here for size comparison. That is my 14 by 16 Davis tent and awning uh, wall tent. Um, you're not going to pack that in. I don't even know that uh, I know many mules or horses that are going to want to pack that in. That canvas is pretty close to 100 pounds just in canvas. That doesn't include the poles. Um, I've got an 8 foot awning uh, porch that goes on that. Um, I've also got a wood stove with a pellet burner on the back. Um, so it burns all night. It's pretty nice. Um, that is going to withstand pretty much anything you can throw at it. And, and I have. Um, I've slept in it when it was you know, dumping, you know, an inch or two inches per hour, uh, way up in the high country and, um, it, it held up great. So again, Colorado company, um, I can tell you that I've, I've had some burn holes put in it, not because of anything that Davis did. It was operator air, also known as myself or a buddy of mine. <laughs> and, uh, not only did they fix it, but they fixed it and they fixed it for less than they quoted me. Um, on the phone and that you know, that's a company that stands by their product. They did it super quick Right when I needed it and uh, it was a joy to work with um, It's kind of paying it back here because we're there are fewer of us that are probably going out and spending a week in a wall tent But who knows um, and, and that's kind of what this is geared at is I'd like to know what you guys want more videos on These are the shelters I have um, I have at least three more shelters than I'm looking at getting. I'm not going to tell you what those are, but stay tuned because they are coming. And my goal this next year is to get a video of each of these plus the three new shelters set up, kind of walk you through pluses, minuses, test them out, and let you guys know. But I will tell you that if you're just getting started into this and you're comfortable with a floorless shelter, look at Kafaru. Um, the minimalist bivy is a cheap bivy. It is it is what it is. It's it's cheap. It, it'll get you out there. There are other bivies out there. Um, get one that's made with event. If you have concerns, if you're going to use a down bag, get an event bivy. It works great. Um, it, it it keeps the um, condensation out. So, but an event bivy and a paratarp or a super tarp, and you are going to be set to go miles and miles back. Again, keep in mind both the minimalist bivy and the paratarp are about twice the size they can compress down into because they're just not in compression sacks. If you are not wanting a floorless shelter, um, look at Hilleberg. If you're going to go, you know, third, fourth, uh, second, third, and fourth season um, rifle hunting in Colorado. Um, if you're doing bow and first season. Um, and not going to be too high. Look at Big Agnes. Um, they're really lightweight, really good tents. Um, this tent right here, the uh, Super Scout, is a two-man tent. It's pretty tight for two men, but the awning um, on it, uh, vestibule on it, is about the same size, if not a little bit bigger than the tent, so kind of makes up for it. <laughs> but let me know what you guys are using. Let me know what tents uh, you guys are, are using or what shelters. Um, what questions you have, um, but you know, let's use the comment section for kind of a discussion on this one and uh, I'll, I'll let you know where we're headed with this and uh, and what I've got coming in the near future. So Thanks for tuning in guys um, Follow us on Facebook and Instagram um, Subscribe. I appreciate it guys um, Thanks guys and gals. Have a great day